Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're using the buffed version of King Groot as the rank 5 5 star in the Abyss. And we're gonna fight the Abyss Darkhawk. And this guy is like one of the most annoying fights in the Abyss. Like, this guy is, is so annoying. He has auto block from his shield mode. He has a stealth mode where you always like miss. And the most common way to kill this guy is with a human torch and like trying to make him regen, switching phases. But today you're gonna see King Groot is dealing some insane damage against this Darkhawk. Especially because he's a robot. And because if the opponent is a robot, when you use your SP2, your breath damage is tripled. And you're gonna see some insane numbers from the SP2. But right now we're gonna build up some armor breaks. We're gonna build up like nine because yeah, I don't wanna use an SP1 just for one armor break because the maximum is 10. And we don't have a lot of hits in this fight. It's like 200, I think. But yeah, right now we have some furies. Even now we're dealing like 10,000 with mediums, almost 10,000. Now we got a nine armor breaks. Now we wanna build up to an SP2. And why is King Groot great for Darkhawk? It's because whenever like we trigger his auto block, we gain two more furies. So we wanna knock him down once we don't have the furies active. And then you're gonna see some crazy damage. So here we only deal like 27,000 because we had 10 furies. But right now, gonna let those furies expire and we want to knock him down just before we trigger this the malice and right now we want to knock him down and then he auto blocks and when he auto blocks we gain two more furies when malice is gonna activate so now we have 25 and we got two more because of a synergy that we have where we get two more furies now we want to bait this sp1 and after, we're gonna throw the SP2 and just look at the damage here. 44,000, 344,000, and then 142,000. That is ridiculous damage. Like 200k with an SP2. And now we have like another 16 Furious. And look at the, those mediums, like 21,000. This guy is insane. Like, if you have 100 seconds to pass in this fight, you have a lot of armor breaks on him and trigger a lot of furies, this guy has got your damage, like, it's insane. So he's like a perfect counter to the Dark Hawk. Now we're gonna have 15 furies, and we're just gonna throw, I think, one more SP2. So yeah, after we bait this, we don't want him to go to... 20,000 with a medium and then 4 or 3 40,000 and 38,000 with the last hit. This guy is just melting with King Groot. Like, he might be even faster than Human Torch. Actually, he's not because we have the pre fight for Torch. But this guy is a 5 star, remember that. If he was like a 6 star rank 3, he would probably go like 60,000 with a breath attack. Like, I want to get him as a 6er guys, it's like so crazy. I have him as a 6er but I don't have him awakened. And keep in mind we don't have the poison damage here because he is immune to poison. Imagine if we had that. We would take like 50% out of him but now we're gonna take like 44%. So this is gonna be the last SP2 because of the hits. And we hit him with 32,000 3 times and 130,000 from the last. This guy just melted. Like two revives on the Abyss Darkhawk if you don't have Human Torch with King Groot. And he's over. Like if you can play like that, trigger the auto block, like one hit and then back off and then one hit. Because there is a cooldown of two seconds, so you don't wanna like trigger it four times because you're taking damage too. But now he's at his unstoppable and unblockable phase. We're just gonna throw in SP1 and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna die now because we can't even touch him. But yeah, look at that, 57%. So we took, I think, one million million and one hundred thousand damage. 
like from King Groot from 126 hits. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.